Hello guys, this is ShapeLab's new tutorial video in which I show you how I make alphas for ShapeLab. First of all, I find an image that I want to make an alpha from. I downloaded this scale pattern made by Damir G. Martin from the ZBrush site. If you are working with a color image, you should change it to black and white first. I don't have to do this because it was already there by default. The next step is to put a high pass filter on it. The high pass evens out the texture as if it flattens it a bit. Then I duplicate the layer and do the same with the copy only with the lower value. Then I duplicate the first layer again and set the high pass value even lower. After that I add Gaussian blur effect to all three layers. I set the blur effect higher for the first one, slightly smaller for the second one, and hardly use it for the third one. Then I convert the top two layers to overlay. Ok, now I'm going to add more depth and height to the pattern. Alphas work in such a way that the dark parts of the image are the trenches and the lighter parts are the peaks. The darker part is, the deeper it will be and the lighter it is, the more it stands out from the surface. The blur was needed, so the difference between the two values was not too sharp. So now I paint a medium grey tone and thus cover the sharp shadows that would only mess up the alpha. Then I paint the light part and blur it. When I'm done with that, I'll make a darker line on the edge of the scales, so they are more separated from each other. I paint the prominent part that is halfway between the scales. After that, the scales darken at the base, so it looks like the tip stands out. I make the darker part around the scale stronger. Finally, I paint the edge of the image with grey and blur it so that there are no half scales in the alpha.
Now I export it as a PNG file. Let's see how it works in ShapeLab. I select the surface stamp tool and import the alpha so the imported pattern is selected immediately and you don't have to search it for it in the menu. In the brush settings I set the strength and resolution to max. The fall off was set to minimum value so I increase it a little. Now I can start using the tool. I turn off the resolution. The pattern is quite blurry, so I use the regularize tool to increase the resolution in the part where the alpha will be. And thus I get a much sharper pattern. Another way to do this is to increase the resolution of the entire model by subdividing. Now I show you what the alpha will look like if I don't modify the image in Photoshop. You can see that it's quite messy and doesn't look like scales. However, not all image need to be modified. For example, with simple patterns and silhouettes it is enough to set the image to black and white and we can already import it into ShapeLab. When you use an alpha like this, it is worth turning off fall off so that the pattern is equally sharp everywhere. By changing the strength, you can influence how much it rises from the surface. Such patterns can also be used well with vertex paint. And that's the end of it. If you found this video useful, subscribe to our channel, and if you have any questions, comment below the video or visit Shapeless Discord server.